welcome back to my channel. Welcome to Brow Week. I am uploading a brow video every day this week. If you haven't seen any of my previous ones, I will link them down below. Today I'm trying Insta Brows. Let's get started. Alright, so the Insta Brow trend. This is one that's been going for years now. Um, it started off with like bold brows being popular and it just kind of moulded into this, well, everybody wears their brows this way at the moment. Um, so yeah, here's a pictorial kind of example of an Insta brow. You can see that. So they're very, very bold and very dark a lot of the time. If you're really into wearing loads and loads of makeup, then sure it will probably suit you, but me I'm more of a kind of less is more apart from on the eyes kind of person, so I don't know how I feel about this. So, products you're going to need, you're definitely going to need an eyebrow pomade. This one is the Freedom one in Ash Brown, if you haven't seen any of my previous videos I've probably mentioned it in every single one so far. Um, also, we'll need a brow gel. This is the Ready Set Brow by Benefit. And I've also got the Gimme Brow by Benefit. This is kind of like a coloured mascara that has fibres in it. I don't know if I can show you. But yeah, so it's got colour in it and it's also got little fibres to make it look like um, your eyebrow hairs are thicker. You're also definitely going to need a concealer. This is the Too Faced Balmer Sway Concealer. This is currently my favourite concealer. Tools wise, you're going to need a spoolie. Um, this is just a cheap one from MUA. You will also need an eyebrow brush. This is a teeny, teeny, tiny one. I really recommend this one for drawing in like individual brow strokes. And this is the E7 from MUA. You could also use like a normal angled brow brush. And for the concealer, I've got this flat um, black brow bl brush. I've got this flat brow brush from Morphe. This is the B75. Let's do this. <laughs> right, so the first thing I'm going to do is brush my brow hairs up with a spoolie. I'm literally going to follow one of the tutorials that I've seen on Instagram, one of the picture ones, this one. So this is the brow tutorial that I'm following, just because it's got the least amount of steps and it's also got writing to tell you what to do. I don't think this is gonna go very well because I'm really not that great at doing my brows. <laughs> Which is shame on me really, because I chose to do about brow week. So you use a brow pencil to outline the bottom of your brow. But I'm not using a pencil, I'm using pomade. I've always been taught that you should never do like just a line but this is how all the tutorials tell you to do it. The next step, use a pencil to outline the top of your brow leaving the line slightly shorter than the bottom. Step 3, fill in the brow leaving some space close to the nose not filled in. I didn't quite do that line dark enough. Use a brush to blend the liner towards the nose to avoid a harsh line. Okay, so the only thing left to do is to conceal around the outsides to make it look all perfect, I guess. I'm getting my concealer out and I'm going to paint it on the edges of my brush here. and then I think you line on top as well, like all the way around. So 
So now I'm going to blend that in with my finger. You can see that to the top of the brow. So as to finish off with brow gel, before I do that, I'm just going to brush a bit of the gimme brow through the fronts of my brow hairs. I don't feel like I have enough there to make it look good. And then I'm going to brush through my ready set brow. Oh, let's just add a little bit of highlight underneath the brow, shall we? Just for comparison, here is a finished Insta brow and here is my natural brow. I'm going to go off camera and do this other eyebrow so then you can see the full effect. Okay, so I'm back and I've done my other eyebrow. Um, yeah. I don't know, because it doesn't look terrible, but it's way more than I'm used to. Like, I'm used to a way, way, way more subtle brow. And this is very, very harsh. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've done this to my eyebrows before, but every time I do it, I'm still like, oh, I don't know how I feel about that. And I usually don't wear my brows out like this. Even if I'm going on a night out or out for a special occasion or anything, I usually, nine times out of 10, will wear a lot more subtle eyebrows than this. Um, that being said, I would do them again. They look nice for photographs. Um, but yeah, they're definitely not my favorite. All in all, it was pretty easy to do these. It did take me about 10 minutes to do it on camera, and the other one realistically only took me about five minutes, but I did spend a little bit more time faffing around touching up my makeup afterwards. So yeah, it didn't take that long. I mean, out of all the brow trends that I've tried so far, this one's been the quickest and the easiest, um, but still not my favorite. It doesn't feel like I've got a lot on my eyebrows, that being said. Um, some of the other brow trends that I've done so far, my eyebrows have felt like very heavy and, and crusty. Um, and yeah, despite the fact that I've got a lot of product in my brows, it doesn't feel like that. I, I mean, when I move my face around like this, and my eyebrows feel normal, which is nice. I guess if I had these on my face, I wouldn't ever realize like, I wouldn't notice it throughout the day. But yeah, I would maybe wear my brows like this again, but probably only for um, YouTube or Instagram. Um, these are definitely like way too heavy for me for every single day. So that's four out of the seven trends tested. Um, let me know what you think down below. Are these your favorite kind of eyebrows? Do you wear these um, yourself? or do you absolutely hate them? Is it time for the Insta brow to die? All of the products that I've used will also be listed in the description box, as well as any of the previous videos slash future videos that I post on this topic. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss any of my future brow videos. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you all tomorrow.